guys, you're watching Oversteer TV. We're down here at the Valvoline D1NZ National Drifting Championship for 2021. It is also round one of the Casper Transmissions Pro Sport Restricted Class. We've had a uh, few stacks in practice, just little ones so far. We have a bit of a concrete jungle here, so uh, it's a brand new season. Whole lot of new liveries and uh, some new drivers, some new faces, some new cars. I'm uh, gonna head down to the pit, check them all out, see what that is. Preston from D1NZ, you're one of the uh, the grid boys. What's what's the hips, bro? You got the gummies on, as per usual. That's like tradition now. Eh? Someone's got a you know rep it for last moldies out here. <laughs> <laughs> The opening round of the Casper Pro Sport Drift Series saw some new liveries and some new faces in the mix. The boys from the south making the trip to Auckland, Shannon Davison Redmond in his SR powered Sylvia, followed up by Brendan Fisher in his VA powered S14. There were some familiar brap brap sounds in the pits. Al Sorensen joining the lineup in his FD RX7. <laughs> The pits were alive with new liveries and teams prepping the cars for quali. Eddie Heyman back in action in his 2JZ powered Sapphiro. You haven't kissed the wall yet? I have kissed the wall. No, oh, you? Yeah. I don't know if it kissed me or I kissed it, but we kissed. <laughs> um, but it's cool now, it's a good day, got the family out here. Young fellas come along for his first track day. Team's helping out real good. Everyone's helped in the lead up to the day, so now it's all up to the driver. Right, we're here with Dan Smith. Now this dude has been doing double duties because he's actually a crew member for the D1NZ, runs the uh, the grid lineup and keeps the show running. But while you're doing that, you quickly put on a race suit and uh, you jump in this thing. You're a little bit down on power, but uh, you're still fanging it out. Yeah, we're giving it a go. I mean, the car's definitely probably half of what everyone else has, but we're, we're out there and we're competing. We qualified 11th, so we're, we're in, it for, in, it, in it to win it. And it's a win it. So at the at last time you went out, it was actually your first time competing. You hadn't done any laps in that car, I don't think. It was a broad car. Hadn't done any laps in the car. Had never battled before, and then had to go up against Russell Veer, which was a <laughs> you know hard one to hard one to do. But we, we did it, and we had fun, and enough fun to come back and try again the season. All right, and looking forward to the battles. Got to line up shortly. Looking forward to it. We got Eddie Heyman up first, and yeah, froth and ready to go. All right, we're here with David Hunter in the uh, mighty C33 L Dog. You got a new colour scheme on? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I've got um, I've gone a bit out the gate. I've gone a bit of a perky nana scheme here. Um, I just thought I'd try throw a colour in the mix just to just to ruffle a few feathers, eh? And it has. It seems to have done it. So it's yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool. <laughs> right, but, um, still running the RB package? Yeah, it's still running RB30, uh, T Guy Sequential, um, Steve Merch whole set HX40. It's around 490, 500 kilowatt. So it's getting up there. <laughs> All right, we're here with Sean Potros, just took out top qualifier for round one, D1NZ, Casper Transmissions, Pro Sport Restricted Class. The track is a little rough in places, but uh, how was it feeling out there? Uh, yeah, it's feeling really good. The entry's got a lot of grip, and then just off entry onto the second wall ride, it's a bit slippery, but as soon as you set up, it's just hard on the gas, smash the limiter, and hold it wide. A lot of new liveries around, you guys got a new look, new look going on? Yeah, yeah, um, we've got a mate that's just started up a new business and he's um, we're helping him out and he's helping us out as much as he can So, and teamed up with Jordan, so hopefully do the best. Alright, looking forward to the battles, you're going to line up soon, so uh, who you got first? Uh, yeah, uh, first battle is uh, Al Sorensen, so I've actually had a battle with him in the Choice Series before, so should be good. With Sean grabbing top qualifier, it was hot lap time for one of the local news reporters. Turns out it was his first time in a drift car, standard. It's not exactly the fastest track of the season, but looks like this guy just came out of the Matrix. Maybe we should invite him to Pukekohe Park Raceway, see if he's keen for that 200k entry. <laughs> The 
The battles got underway with a top 16 format. Sean Potros took on Brendan Fisher from the south. It was Sean bringing the heat in his chase game. Adam Camplin took on Connor Halligan in the top eight. Connor chasing hard, but it all came unstuck in his lead run, heading into outer zone two, contact with the wall. David Hunter grabbed a win over Adam Whitehead in the top 16, putting him through against Eddie Heyman for a battle of the Japanese sedans. Hunter grabbing the win for the Perky Nana. Cam Bank and the Pandem R32 Skyline couldn't fend off Shannon from SDR Motorsport. The battle scars on the rear end starting to show. <laughs> Sean Potros and Adam Camplin battled in the top four. Semi-final number one, Potros in the S14, grabbing the victory for the RBs. <laughs> Semi-final number two, David Hunter in the big four-door Laurel trying to fend off a hungry S14. Shannon from SDR chasing hard. The battle would go OMT, sudden death. This time round it was oiling issues taking David Hunter's C33 out of the game and with David retiring early, it was Adam Camplin grabbing third place for the day. Yeah, um, good fun battles though. That's what I that's what I do the sport for. Um, Sean Proto was battling him, that was bloody wicked. I was hoping I went one more time, I was having so much fun, but um, didn't quite get it and he got the win, but still happy with how I ended up today and for, for the third place. The track was rough, like it felt like we were a bit skatey, uh, but as the day got on, it kind of gripped up. We threw a bit more grip in the car and then it was just, it was good. The track was good, yeah, so the pros are going to have some fun tomorrow. The final battle was a North vs South showdown, a classic SR vs RB battle. Sean Potros, though, was still smashing the lines the judges were asking for. final ended with carnage from the SDR S14, handing the round one victory to our top qualifier, Sean Potros. Alright, we're here with Shannon Davison Redmond and you've come all the way from the south, you've managed to get on the podium. Yes, I am way too stoked about this. So unfortunately, a bit of a stack in the final there, she got a bit wild. Tell us about it. Uh, so, I actually, last two battles, I had no power steering. The that's like pissing fluid out. So, obviously, versing Sean, I knew I had to 110% and just throw it under lock. I could not pull it back off. It just went straight, not even into the wall. I went up the wall. All right, Sean Potros, you just taken out a round victory for the 2021 season opener here at Mount Smart. Feeling good? Yep, feeling really good. Um, never been here before and um, definitely love the track, the concrete walls. It was wicked. All right, how did the car hold up? Um, surprisingly well. Um, it hasn't been opened up for a year or so now. It's standard 25 Neo, and it just gets abuse after abuse. So it's still on song, so ready for tomorrow. So Sean Potros takes the first scalp of the season, a big bag of points for the championship title hunt. The next round getting underway on February the 20th and 21st at Manfield Raceway in Fielding. And we will see you all there. Do check out our website for more video content on oversteertv.co.nz. Follow us on the social. We did have an app on the Google Play Store, but I forgot to pay the bills and I don't really care. Cheers for watching. See you all next time.